Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we will explore a crucial topic that holds substantial implications for the economy and well-being of Afghanistan. At the same time, it's causing a noticeable strain in the relations between Afghanistan and Pakistan. On December 10th, the Ministry of Water and Energy, under the control of the Taliban, made a significant announcement regarding a forthcoming project. They revealed plans to construct a dam on the Kuna River, and the details are quite impactful. Now let's get into the specifics of this development. The Ministry outlined that the proposed dam on the Kuna River is designed to generate 45 megawatts of electricity, a substantial boost for the region. Additionally, it aims to irrigate an extensive area of 34,000 hectares of agricultural land. These figures underscore the scale and potential impact of the project on the local economy and infrastructure. The Kuna River spans a length of 480 kilometers, coursing through northern Pakistan and eastern Afghanistan. Its source lies just south of the Hindu Kush Mountains, situated in the northern region of Badakhshan. Flowing southward, the river eventually converges with the Kabul River in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province. Nourished by the melting glaciers and snow from the Hindu Kush Mountains, the Kunar River serves as a significant tributary to the Kabul River, itself a contributing tributary to the mighty Indus River. According to the spokesperson of the Afghanistan Ministry of Energy and Water, this dam will have the capacity to produce 45 megawatts of electricity in the future and will also irrigate 34,000 hectares of agricultural land. Matiullah Abed, the spokesman of Ministry of Energy and Water, said, One of the big projects of our ministry is the Gambiri Dam project. This dam has the capacity to produce 45 megawatts of electricity and will irrigate 34,000 hectares of agricultural land, and it has been decided that this project will be completed by the private sector. The spokesman of the Islamic Emirate said that the management of Afghanistan's internal waters is a fundamental right of the Afghan people, and for its management, large financial donors are needed in the country. Zabiullah Mujahid, the spokesman of the Islamic Emirate, said, We have to manage our water, whether it is in Kunar, Faryab, Farah, or Helmand. This is the right of the Afghan people. They should make good use of their right, and in this regard, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, as one of the serious decision-makers, should make it one of their priorities. A number of analysts, welcoming the action of the ministry, expressed that the creation of this dam in Afghanistan not only has economic value, but it will also increase regional credibility. Kunar's dam, the same as the Kosh Tepa Canal, is an economic political dam that, in addition to strengthening Afghanistan economically and again, leading us to the self-sufficiency of our other four provinces, is a very good pressure tool in political negotiations for Afghanistan that can show the power of Afghanistan to the region. According to Najibullah Sadid, an analyst, the construction of this dam is even in the interest of the neighboring country of Pakistan because it will hold back a lot of water during the flood season and reduce the intensity of the flood downstream. According to Pakistani authorities, the unilateral decision by the Taliban to construct a dam on the Kunar River marks a significant and potentially decisive turn of events in Pakistan's long-standing relationship with the Taliban. This move has not only caught Pakistani officials off guard, but has also intensified the strain on their already delicate ties with the Taliban. The construction of the dam on the Kunar River represents more than just a hydrological project. It has become a symbol of geopolitical tensions and strategic maneuvering in the region. The river, which flows from Afghanistan into Pakistan, 
holds immense importance for both countries, not only as a vital water resource, but also as a factor in the historical and geopolitical dynamics of the region. Pakistan has labelled the Taliban's decision to construct the dam as a hostile act, emphasising the potential adverse impacts on its water supply, agricultural practices and overall economic stability. The move is seen as a breach of trust, as Pakistan had been engaging in diplomatic efforts to maintain a working relationship with the Taliban, especially considering the group's influence in neighbouring Afghanistan. The situation has raised concerns not only within Pakistan, but also among regional and international stakeholders. The unilateral decision to build the dam without prior consultation underscores the challenges in managing transboundary water resources and highlights the potential for conflict arising from such infrastructural projects. The geopolitical fallout is also likely to impact the broader South Asian region with neighbouring countries closely monitoring the developments and assessing the implications for their own security and stability. As diplomatic channels are strained, the incident may prompt Pakistan to reconsider its approach toward the Taliban and recalibrate its regional strategy. The international community, including neighbouring countries and global powers, may become involved in mediating the dispute to prevent further escalation and find a diplomatic resolution. The incident could also prompt a re-evaluation of the Taliban's intentions and actions, both within Afghanistan and in its relations with neighbouring states. The construction of the dam on the Kunar River has thus become a focal point for geopolitical tensions, not just between Pakistan and the Taliban, but within the broader context of regional stability. The incident highlights the complex and interconnected nature of relationships in the region, with water resources emerging as a potential flashpoint for conflict and a barometer for the overall geopolitical climate in South Asia. Water management and dam construction are critical in Afghanistan to address water scarcity, support agriculture and provide energy. To manage waters without tensions with neighbouring countries, collaborative transboundary agreements and diplomatic dialogues are essential. Implementing shared water management strategies involving all stakeholders can promote equitable distribution and cooperative use of water resources. Regional cooperation, transparent communication and adherence to international water laws foster trust, preventing conflicts. Joint infrastructure projects like dams can be developed through mutually beneficial agreements, ensuring sustainable water use and fostering peace and stability in the region for the well-being of all involved nations. The construction of the dam on the Kunar River is not just a local project, it's a geopolitical event that could shape the future dynamics of the entire South Asian region. We'll be keeping a close eye on this situation as it unfolds, so make sure to subscribe for updates. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.